Do you or someone you know need an inhaler because of asthma or another respiratory condition? Tens of millions of Americans use metered dose inhalers, among the most commonly used devices for treating respiratory diseases. They deliver specific amounts of medication to the lungs with each spray breathed in. But studies show that an astonishing 70 to 90 percent of the time, inhalers are not used properly. So why is it so hard to get it right? Joining us to discuss is WSJ health reporter Sumathi Reddy. Hi, Sumathi. Great Hi, to see you. Nice to see you. So why is it so hard to use an inhaler properly? So many people use it. And is it dangerous that people are not using them properly? Um, studies have found that as little as 7% of the medicine is getting into your lungs when used improperly. That, that's obviously for making a lot of mistakes. So can that be dangerous? I mean, is that a life-threatening situation if you're not getting the medicine? I mean, it can be. It can be. Part of the problem is that physiologically the lungs don't, are, they, they want to reject things. So even right. if you're using an inhaler perfectly, you're only getting probably about half of the medicine. So that's part of the problem. Now, the other part of the problem is that almost everyone is making at least one mistake because the process itself is, you know, 9 to 12 steps. Right. And there have been studies that looking into this, including one that just came out from Rice University, exactly. finding that what, what percentage of the medication is actually getting used? So it's as little as 7% that's making it into the lungs, and, and in best case scenario, about 50%. So I'm just curious, when you have findings like this, can it all be chalked up to human error, or should the devices be redesigned? No, well, part of it is the device also. Okay. That's, a, that's a problem, too. Like I said, even if you're using it perfectly, you're only getting about 45 to 50 percent of the medicine, right, right. so that is that plays a role. Okay, so they found the most common mistake is simply that people just aren't coordinated enough, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's well, a matter of coordination. So the most damaging error, okay, is the coordination. So breathing at the same time as you pump, sort of. No, thing. actually, you're supposed to start breathing in and then press and okay, then activate okay. the inhaler, but. People are doing this all kinds of ways. Sometimes they're like breathing in too long before they're activating it. Sometimes they're activating it before they're breathing in. You know, so their timing many ways is it's off. Just, exactly. <laughs> and then they aren't breathing perhaps deeply enough, correct? Yeah, yeah, so that's another problem. So there's the rate and sort of you're supposed to breathe slowly and deeply. And some people are breathing too fast or not taking a deep enough breath. So that can be problematic as well. And then, of course, we know so many children who have inhalers for mm -hmm. asthma and seniors. Is the problem, this coordination problem, worse for certain groups? Yes, so the ones you mentioned, children of course, mm -hmm. um, elderly people, people with cognitive difficulties, and that can kind of get worked around by um, a lot of pulmonologists will recommend a spacer, which is like a long tube. Right. That kind of makes sure that more, more of the medicine is getting into your lungs. The problem with that is it's not as portable. Right. And obviously when you have your rescue inhaler and you're, you have it in your pocket and you're carrying around all day, you're not gonna have the tube, the spacer as well. Yeah, so, so what advice, based on all of this information mm -hmm. that they now have, mm -hmm. what advice are doctors giving their patients who need inhalers? And part of the problem is that you, you do checks when you first give someone an inhaler, yeah. but then, they might, you know, keep up with it for like a week or two, but then they kind of forget, and then the yeah. doctors don't always have the time to do the recheck the next appointment. So right. some doctors I talked to said they are, you know, making more of an effort to sort of recheck inhaler use to see, you know, I mean, one doctor said, yeah, one patient was not taking the cap off the inhaler. Oh my gosh. Well, look, That's... if you're a medical device entrepreneur, it looks like there's room in this space <laughs> for some new inventions. All right, Sumathi, thank you so much for Thanks that. Thanks for having me.